So hello everyone welcome to a new video today we are going to create this copy to clipboard UI and also we are going to see how we can do copy to clipboard with our JavaScript. So here as you can see we have a text here and when I will click this text it is saying that uh, pop up with a pop up that copied and it is actually copied to our clipboard and if I open my notepad and paste it as you can see that this is the text that is copied. So that's what we are going to make in this video. I hope you guys will like it and let's start it. So here as you can see that this is my HTML and this is the CSS and this is a JS file. And if you want to jump to the only JS part, you can do that from the timeline. Check in the description, you will find the timeline and you can jump to the JS part only. So let's come to the HTML and create our HTML layout for now. So exclamation and hit tab, it will create this boilerplate and let's give it a title of something like copy to clipboard. And in the body, let's get a div with a class of container and in this div let's create another div with a class of content and here we will have our h2 so let's have a h2 and say that hello world and that's it also let's have another div here inside our content and this will be the pop-up which will say that it is copied already so the pop-up and in the pop-up let's have h4 and in the h4 we will say that copied and we will use a emoji here it's looking good so that's a simple layout that we need for our this ui and let's add our style sheet here so link css and also add the javascript and that's it so in our style.css first of all first of all let me open it with our live server here so let me show you how it is looking right now yeah here it is as you can see and that's what we have now so in our style.css come here and first of all let's remove all the unexpected gap so margin will be the zero and padding will be also the zero and box sizing will be border box and after that come to the body and say that font size sorry font family so i will use nonito for here so i already have installed this font in my pc that's why i don't need to add it from the google font so if you don't have no need to install in your machine you need to import it from the fonts.google.com and let's come here so font size will be 18 pixel and background color that i want is so let me copy the color so this will be a subtle blue if i paste as you can see that the font is already in none and also the background is changed so also apply the font weight here so something like 300 yeah looking good so after that let's come to the container and say that mean height that I want is the 100 VH and the width will be 100% and display flex and align items sorry not self align items center and also justify content center so this will make the content which is this content in the center of our website so looking good so after that let's come to the actual content div so content so that's the content div and what i need actually i need a background color of white here and here as you can see so also let's say that the color will be the black and also let's say that we will have a border radius so border radius will be 10 pixel so it is looking good right now so also let's give it a padding here so padding will be something like 30 pixel 
yeah looking fine for now so after that let's style the h2 from the content so content h2 so in the h2 let's say that cursor will be the pointer and also say that font size that we want something like 35 pixel so as you can see that it is now 35 pixel and font weight will be 700 so fine i believe yeah looking good so after that let's grab the pop-up so what i need for the pop-up so pop-up So this is the pop-up and say that position will be absolute so as you can see that the position of the pop-up will be the absolute so for that i need to make the parent element which is the content position relative so now as you can see we can't see it we need to make the top about minus 100 pixel yeah as you can see that now it is minus 100 pixel so also make sure that it is in the center from the left so what i can say that left will be 50 percent so also let's give it a background color so that we can notice it so background color will be the white one so also let's give it a padding of about 10 pixel and also border radius about per pixel something like that so it is looking good as you can see so as you can see that it is not perfectly center from the left side so we need to make it center so for that let's say that transform translate x will be the minus 100 percent sorry not 100 it will be the minus 50 percent so now it is you know in the center as you can see so after that what i need actually i need to make it hidden so how we can make it hidden so it is very simple we can use opacity zero so now it is not here and also we can say that pointer event will be the none so now we can see it and also we can't click our point this pop up so now it is completely hidden so after that let's create the style when it will be the active so pop up with a class of active so whenever there will be a class of active what we need actually we need to make a style so I will do an animation so let me create the animation first here so keyframes so the animation name will be the pop-up something like that and here let's say that what I need in 0% so in the 0% what I need actually I need to make the same thing that we have in our pop-up so also let's make a transform here so let's say that also i want to transform the y value and minus 20 percent sorry pixel so now it is 20 pixel so also make sure that we have it in the zero percent so now in zero percent it will be minus 20 pixel up and whenever i will go to the 40 percent of the animation I will make all the change which is something like opacity 1 and pointer events auto and also I want the transform y value will be the 0 so whenever the 40% will be happen of this animation we will have back about this pop-up and also it will remain till the 80% so what I can do in the 80% I can copy and just paste all the statement or all the style here and in the hundred percent we will remove again the pop-up so to remove the pop-up what i can do actually i can copy this and paste the zero percent style so now in zero percent as you can see we don't have or we can't see the pop-up and also we can't click it it is in the minus 20 percent up so when it will be in the 40 percent the opacity will be one means we can see it and also we can click it and the transform will be the 0% for the y value y axis it will remain the 80% of the animation and when it will be 100% we will also make the opacity 0 means we also can't see it and we can't click the pop up so that's how it will now and also let's say that apply it in the active form 
so let's say that the animation the name of the animation is the pop-up and it will be for one second is in out and also say that forwards so that's it so whenever there will be an active class so let me show you so let me give the active class manually so that I can show you so that's the pop-up and if I give it active class and here as you can see that that's the thing that we did with the animation so that's it so let's come to the JS part so in the JS part first of all let's get a constant for our text so text is the this one this hello world text so we can grab it document dot query selector so it is in the content and it is the h2 and also make sure that all this thing in a string so after that let's also grab the pop-up pop-up and document dot query selector and say that I have a pop-up class for that so now we have our pop-up and also we have our text so what I need actually I need to make a even listener to this text so let's add a even listener to the text and the event that we want to listen is the click event so whenever I will click this text what I will do actually I will apply a function so let's create a callback function here so this function will be applied or will be evoke when we will click this hello world so in this function first of all what I need I need to open the pop-up so let's open it so how we can open the pop-up it is very simple we need to add a class in the class list of our pop-up so in the pop-up class list add a new class which is the active and that's it so if I save and whenever I click as you can see that that's the active or that's the pop-up that we have but if you can see the active class is still there that's the active class so if I refresh and you can see there is no active class but whenever I will click this hello world button once there is the active class but we need to remove it so let's say that whenever the pop-up animation will end we need to remove the class from the pop-up so let's do it so let's say that pop-up dot add event listener and we will listen for an event which is animation end so animation end and whenever this animation will end we will run this function and where I will say that I just remove the class from the pop-up so remove this active class so let me see it right now so as you can see there is the pop-up and whenever I will click it now active now it is removed automatically so as you can see that the UI is completed but there is no functionality means whenever I click it should be copied in our clipboard but if I paste the clipboard as you can see that there is nothing means there is no this hello world thing so let's make the functionality so let's say that whenever I will open this pop-up here after the pop-up I will call a function so let's create the function which is copy to clipboard something like that you can name it anything so we have this function and let's get the function here so function copy to clipboard and in this function what we need we need to create an element so let's say that constant element or we can say that text area equals to so document dot create element and we will create a text area so we have now a text area so after that what I need to do is I need to make the attribute for the text area so text area dot set attribute and the attribute is read only so now we can't see this element and just we can read this element so it will not be visible in our website so after that let's say that text area dot style dot position will be the absolute 
so it will be the absolute and also append it into the body of our website so how we can append it so we can say that document dot body document dot body dot append child and here is the text area sorry text area so now we are appending this text area inside our body so if i open our inspect and whenever i will click i should see it's not working okay we need to save it sorry my bad so whenever now i will click this as you can see that we have this text area which is read only and the position of this is in the top absolute as you can see so that's the text area and what i need actually i need to put the value of our this text inside this text area so let's say that text area dot value equals to our text dot in our html sorry in our text so now we have a value of the text area so let me do it here before the app and child so after that what we need to do actually i need to say that we need to select the text of the text area so what i can say that text area so text area dot select we have a function or method which is select so what it will do is it will select the value of the text area means it will do something like that select and after the select what i need i need to copy i need to copy this text so for that also we have a, a comment in our document so document dot execute comment so execute comment and what comment we want to execute so it is the copy so what it will do now it will select the text area and copy the selected text area and now what we have is we have the clip put which is copied this text so let me show so whenever i will click now we have copied and if i paste it inside the notepad so it is not doing anything because we need to save it first and if i do this once again so copy it and paste it here so now as you can see that that's the hello world is working perfectly and let me do it once again so working perfect but if you can see that if i open this our deep body and here as you can see that i clicked this hello world two times and if i click third time also we have the three now text area so we need to remove this text area from the body so what i can do whenever we finish our copy we can remove it from the body so let's say that document dot body dot remove child and what child i want to remove it is the text area and if i save and come here and notice there so we can't see it because it is happening too fast but if you can see that body there will be a flash here means there was a change inside the body and that's why there was a flash here so means it is now removing itself after the copy so now we have a perfect copy to clipboard here so whenever i click this text and paste it here so let me test it once again so here let's say that instead of this hello world hello world with three exclamation sign and if i come here not there let me open the text area sorry the notepad so if i click this and it is now copied in my clipboard and paste it as you can see that now we have the text which is having here so that's it for this video i hope you guys like this little video and my name is arfan and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye kudahafis